Since YouTube's launch in 2005, the video sharing social platform has exploded in popularity, becoming the primary platform for filmmakers, musicians, and entrepreneurs alike. Although it was disregarded initially, YouTube defied expectations and is said to have started a new generation of celebrities, who can become equally famous as traditional celebrities by simply uploading videos online for people to enjoy. Over the course of the years, the platform has been dominated by different content creators, all of them having one thing in common, and that is having a large following, a number that has virtually given a new definition to the word subscriber. Here are 5 YouTubers who have almost achieved the number 1 subscriber rank throughout the history of YouTube, but they didn't quite get there. Number 5. T-Series The last channel that many would have expected to take the throne of YouTube is some Indian music company that most of us in North America and Europe have never even heard of. But as it turns out, it almost did take the throne from PewDiePie just a few weeks ago, and might just be able to dethrone PewDiePie in the next few days from now. In fact, although not widely known in North America and Europe, T-Series is actually the most watched YouTube channel in the world. Sitting currently at a whopping 53 billion views, T-Series is gaining over 120,000 subscribers per day. As we dig deeper into the facts, we begin to understand why this is happening. But first, let's go back in time to the 1980s, when T-Series was founded. At this time, T-Series was a fruit juice selling company started by Golshan Kumar. The company began to gain popularity in the late 1990s, when T-Series became one of the leading producers for Bollywood music. Following the launch of the popular video sharing site YouTube, T-Series created its YouTube channel in March of 2006. However, it wasn't until Bollywood movie trailers started to be posted on the channel in 2010 that it start to take off. Those videos performed relatively well, amassing views in the tens and sometimes hundreds of thousands. Keep in mind that at this time almost 10 years ago, 100,000 views was a lot. But there was a problem. Since the content uploaded on T-Series was targeted towards the Indian population, there was not much interest in other countries, a lot of which had better internet connections than India. India at the time was still mostly offline. In September of 2016, 4G internet services were introduced in India by a mobile internet service provider, Reliance Geo. This was a $35 billion investment, and Geo offered free calls and data at an extremely low price. This led to exponential growth in the number of Indians connected to the internet. Fast forward two years to 2018, T-Series now has over 71 million subscribers and is only held back from taking the throne by a YouTuber named PewDiePie, who currently only has around 100,000 subscribers more than T-Series. Who knows, by the time you're watching this video, T-Series might already have passed PewDiePie in subscribers. Number 4. Machinima Machinima is a YouTube multi-channel network and gaming channel. In late 2012, Machinima reached 4th place in subscriber rankings with over 5 million subscribers. The only channels preventing Machinima from becoming number 1 at the time were Smosh, Nigahiga, and Ray William Johnson, all three of which had over 6 million subscribers. However, Machinima was said to be one of the worst large YouTube channels at the time. This was because while most popular YouTubers uploaded around one video a day at most, Machinima uploaded 10 to 15 videos per day. Now imagine that you are a subscriber to a channel that uploads 10 videos a day. Chances are, you will not stay active as the uploads will begin to pile up in your subscription feed, and you will most likely never have the chance to watch most of the videos. This caused Machinima to become one of the largest YouTubers with the smallest number of active subscribers. Combine this with an average subscriber gain of just over 200 subscribers per video, and you have a channel that no one really cares or talks about. Fast forward to 2018, Machinima now has over 12 million subscribers, but is still nowhere near the top YouTube channels like PewDiePie and T-Series, who have over 70 million subscribers. Today, many YouTube channels upload multiple videos per day and still manage to retain a substantial amount of active subscribers. Let me know what you think should be the ideal frequency for uploading videos in the comment section below. I am interested in knowing your thoughts on this topic as we are trying to establish an upload schedule here on Flare. Number 3. Shane Dawson TV Also known as Shane Lee Yaw, 
Shane Dawson TV is an American author, comedian, actor, film director, and musician. In late 2010 and early 2011, Shane Dawson's main channel, Shane Dawson TV, became third place in subscriber ranking. What's interesting is that his second channel, Shane Dawson TV 2, also made it into the top 10 most subscribed YouTube channels at the time. Later on, Shane decided to rename Shane Dawson TV 2 to Human Emoji. Ever since the year 2017, he mainly uses his third channel called Shane, which he still actively uploads on today and currently has over 19 million subscribers. Number 2. Jenna Marbles Also American, Jenna Marbles is a YouTuber who mainly uploads vlogs, comedy, and films. In March of 2013, Jenna Marbles was at second place, only following behind Smosh. Despite being one of the most recognizable popular YouTubers, Jenna Marbles did not begin her career on this video sharing platform. In fact, she began her career as a content creator on a now forgotten site called Barstool Sports. It wasn't until she uploaded her first YouTube video in 2010 titled How to Trick People Into Thinking You're Good Looking that Jenna saw the potential in investing her time into YouTube. The video, which has now over 67 million views, ultimately became an inspiration for many to start their own YouTube channels. Number 1. Justin Bieber Vivo That's right, at the time it was the Justin Bieber Vivo channel who almost claimed the number 1 spot, not the singer's main channel, Justin Bieber. In December of 2017, Justin Bieber Vivo reached second place after passing Hola So German, who had 33.3 million subscribers at the time. In March of 2018, Justin Bieber Vivo's subscribers were added to his personal account, Justin Bieber. When the subscribers were added, Justin Bieber's subscriber count jumped from 4.9 million to 37.8 million, making this the most subscribers any channel has ever gained in one day. And the Vivo channel also get to keep the subscribers that were added to the artist's personal channel. Shortly after overtaking Hola Soy German, Justin Bieber was passed by T-Series, who is currently on its way to the number one spot. So that is it for this video, hopefully you found it informative and interesting to watch. But I have one more question for you. Which channel do you think could reach first place in the future? Leave your guesses in the comment section down below. And as always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.